What up, what up, what up, what's good y'all? This is your boy Dream Big back at it again with another video. So, man, my internet speeds have been so slow in Washington. Um, I used to have a Motorola uh, modem router and I ended up sending it back because I did a couple speed tests and I, I'm paying for 300 megabits per second and I was only getting like 10 to 11 and I used to, I had I brought my Xbox from upstairs in my room all the way downstairs and had it directly plugged in and I was just lagging off. So I said, this it's it. That's it. I'm over it. Um, I tried to so do my own troubleshooting. I went and got um, rented uh, one of Xfinity's uh, modems that can produce can run about up to a thousand megabits per second. And I was getting way more than 300 megabits per second from their router. So I went and got this bad boy that can do the same thing without all the rental fees every month. And we're going to set this up. So let's set this up together. So this is the Netgear AC1900 Wi-Fi cable router. Um, you're going to get two you're gonna get the two gigahertz and five gigahertz uh you know you're gonna max speeds up to 1900 gigahertz with this one and you know it's just a, to me this is a great buy so let's run through it let's unbox this first thing i noticed here so we got the modem Kind of shaped like a shark fin or something. So it's kind of like a shark fin type looking modem. So it looks pretty sweet. It's pretty light. Pretty light. And then it just comes with, uh, you can download the app. It looks like the Netgear app. So you can set it up through the app. And you, know, you get the plug and an ethernet cable, of course. So let me get this plugged in. While I'm doing this, let me do. Let me just take a screen. Let me just take a speed check of what the internet's now, what the internet speed is right now, so I can compare it um, later when I set this one up. So let me just go to speed test. All right. So this is gonna be my speed test for the Xfinity. Let's see what it goes up to right now. I only pay for 300 megabits, and I'm getting almost 350 megabits on the with the xfinity router all right so let's plug this in let's plug in the net gear and set that up all right so i got everything plugged in plugged in the ethernet cables let me just show y'all what it looks like in the back so you have four different ethernet ports in the back of course, you got your coax cable and the outlet plug, and you can add in USB. So, like, if you're trying to stream media throughout the house, you have the option to do that. So, since they give you the option of downloading the Netgear app, I'm going to use the Netgear app and see how easy of a setup it would be using that. So, let's try out this Netgear app since, you know, they're pro looks like they're promoting it in the box so you know usually you do it through the web browser but i'm gonna use the app and see how easy it is to set up my home network using that app all right so it starts off do you want to install a new netgear product so hell yeah i want to start a new product and it just goes over some of uh, the things we're gonna do here, set up your network, your settings, and your services. So let's go. Um, so here's your products, so the Netgear products. So I believe it's a cable modem router, but so you just go there and you can just scan the side. It looks like we can scan the side, so um basically just scan the qr code on the side of the router right here just line it up and scan it boom 
make sure you have it all connected in the back and like I showed y'all I have the coax cable and uh, the power already plugged in so we all good there so now we have to just shut up and wait All right, so after about five minutes of buffering and loading and processing, now we can connect cable router and let's just see where it goes from here. All right, so it looks like it found the router. So this could take up to 10 minutes. So let's just let that load up. No, oh, it looks like it's already done, so. Uh, looks like we don't have connection. Uh, let's see. Um, let's try that one more time. All right. So where are we? So now I can set up the Wi-Fi network. So you know I got a name as CGW Entertainment. Always my network name. So let's just make it that. And then I'm just going to turn you all off so I can do my password. So then I'll try to steal my passcode. And then another good thing in here, you know, you got some security questions, you set that up. Now we just gotta make sure everything is Gucci. Come on, you can find us. Find it, find it. I would definitely say this app seems like it has a little bit of trouble. Um, I think kind of think it might have been easier to set this up on the computer for sure. So I ran into a couple of issues. Should so let's try this once make, again. So one thing I definitely think is cool with this app is that it takes you as soon as you have it set up and you set up your own network access. Um, it actually takes you to a couple, a bunch of different companies like Xfinity, Optimal Online, or whoever your internet provider is. And you can log on directly to them to activate your modem and your internet service to the to the router and i think that just makes it super easy like i don't have to sit on the phone with xfinity and tell them all my router information just made it super simple thumbs up for that got everything set up we had a couple hiccups with the app um uh, getting everything set up so i ended up using my computer just finalizing a lot of the setup process so now we're gonna do our speed test. Let's do our speed test on here and let's basically see what we get. So you can see we got Seattle, Washington, we got Xfinity, and it basically seems like we're not getting as fast as speeds as we, as we would be with the Xfinity router. I'm not sure why. So with, with, with this one, we're getting 67 megabits, let's see, per second, which is better than the one I had before. Let's try, let's try Xfinity speed test real quick, see if that makes a difference. Still looking like we're in the 60, oh, 58.3. Hmm. It's a weird issue. I don't know what's going I don't know what it is with Xfinity, but if you, seems like if you don't use their router, they slow down your speeds or something. That's, that's what I'm just gonna assume. Just gonna assume that because this is a really good router, but it doesn't seem to give you as fast as of speeds that you would get with the routers that they provide. Uh, let me know if y'all got.
if you guys bought the same router, what kind of issues you're having, what kind of speeds you're getting, and um, this your boy Dream Big, and I'm out. Peace. What's good, y'all? This is your boy Dream Big. Uh, this is the CEO and founder of Chance Clothing. Um, make sure, I know y'all didn't click on this video without supporting, clicking, clicking that link in the bio or in the description down below. Check out chanceclothingco.com. We the littest out right now. Cop you a hat, cop you a hoodie, cop you a shirt, cop you some merch. Y'all already know. Let's get it.